it's Joseph DeWorld here, and today, yet again, we are talking about another disgusting nonce. But not just any nonce, we are going to be talking about a nonce that travelled over 200 miles to try to meet up with what he thought to be an underage child. Luckily, it wasn't a underage child, it was a predator hunting group known as Dark Justice, who we've covered quite a bit on this channel. The disgusting man you see on your screen currently is Paul Ellis, a then 58-year-old who travelled over 200 miles to try to meet up with a minor. He was also working as a chip shop worker as well. Before we talk about the non sting itself, he actually previously uh, had instances of this happening before. For example, in 2015, he was on bail for talking to underage boys and girls on the internet. Um, his home was raided and police found large numbers of graphic sexual chats with children, some as young as 12 years old. However, unlike uh, the non-sting where it was a fake child, the children did exist. Where he sent pictures of himself, of, you know, down there. For all this, he was obviously investigated by police and later on tried uh, pleading not guilty. He was supposed to be tried in the February of that year, but that happened two months before he travelled to Newcastle, hoping to meet the 13-year-old, but luckily it wasn't a 13-year-old, it was Dark Justice. The WhatsApp conversations were damning enough with the fake 13-year-old. He clearly had, he full-on known her age and described in detail what they were going to do and what he wanted to do to her. He travelled over 200 miles to the exact location where the non sting was supposed to take place. So, he had no excuse. Uh, plus, he had candy, or sweets if you live in the UK, sorry. Uh, he got condoms in his pockets and other stuff to try to lure her into his car when she would arrive. But luckily, it wasn't a 13-year-old girl. But what actually happened to Paul Ellis. What happened to the travelling nods? What happened to the chip shop worker nods? In February, he was obviously supposed to appear in court, but because of this new incident, it got delayed for a few months. But finally, when he arrived in court, he admitted five charges of attempting to arrange a child sex offence over the internet, with 11 other similar offences committed between January and October of the last year before that. He also admitted to that he that he planned to incite a child in sexual activity between August last year and April uh, of that year when he was arrested in Newcastle. And then he was sentenced. He was jailed for four years and ordered to sign the sex offenders register for life. Honestly, the sex offenders register thing, I'm happy that's going to be for life. This man kept doing this over and over again. He had conversations with over 11 children, and that was before he even tried to meet up with one of them as well. So, it's not the first time he's done something like this. The jail sentence, it's a bit more than what we usually get that we cover on this channel, so... I'm happy about that, but I still think it should be longer for these disgusting men and women that do this kind of thing. Anyway, that's all the information I have left to share with you. Uh, he's probably out by now since this took place in 2016. He obviously got out by 2020 or early 2021, so I hope this disgusting man uh, never has a semblance of a normal life again, and he probably won't because of obvious reasons. But yeah, that's all I have left to share. Make sure to like and subscribe, guys, and yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit.